It is a measured, calculated undertaking. The journey, anything but predictable. The line is drawn right here. The challenge of a lifetime is set. The question, is it in you? For these people on this day, they have come to find that answer. The answer to being an Iron Man. When tackling an Iron Man, you wait for nothing and prepare for everything. Train, then train again. Sacrifice, commit, perform. All driven by one reality. At the Iron Man, anything can happen, including failure. 17 hours to swim, bike, and run 140.6 total miles of Idaho. This is the 2009 edition of Ford Ironman Coeur d'Alene. North Carolina's David Daggett. He is this year's Ford Ironman Coeur d'Alene everyday hero. It always was, and remains today, a time of endless possibilities. High school graduation, our rite of passage into adulthood, and it was a cause for celebration. Triathlete David Daggett has wonderful memories from his own prom night party. However, as a lawyer, he has also witnessed prom night tragedies where one night of substance abuse destroys the lives of many. Nineteen years ago, David and his law partner began a small local program, Safe and Sober. It was their way of giving something back to their community, hopefully reaching a few teens maybe even saving some lives. To date, more than 400,000 teens right across North Carolina have taken David's pledge to celebrate their prom night safe and sober. I have a passion for the young people, and our young people today, they are as motivated and as energetic as any generation we've ever had. But what they need from us is for all of us to wrap our arms around them, give them encouragement, leadership, support, and put them on the road to success. That's what they want, they just need us to give them the leadership to go there. David has spoken to thousands of teens. In the program's early years, he often used scare tactics to try and reach them. Now, he uses a much stronger ally, the Iron Man. Young people today, they get motivated by stories. And using Iron Man as a metaphor seems to connect with the students. And you can use that to show the planning, the preparation, the, the goals, the guidance, the finish line, the hard work, the obstacles that you run into. The one big message that they always respond to is no matter how tough things get, no matter where you are in life, just like out there on the run course, you got to keep putting one foot in front of the other. And if you keep doing that, keep heading in the direct, right direction, doing what you're supposed to do, you'll get to that finish line. David recently completed his 150th triathlon. This will be his 18th Ironman. However, his most cherished milestone is the number of teens, nearly half a million strong, who have pledged to stay safe and sober. David Daggett, your 2009 Ford Ironman Coeur d'Alene every day. David Daggett continues to work his way around the course here in Coeur d'Alene, continues to bring attention to his charity. The run is his weakest discipline. It is the one he worries about, 
but so far, so good. What started at 7 a.m. still continues for the majority of the participants, and some will be out here right up until the cutoff time of midnight, 17 hours after the journey began. It is survival mode for many, walking the reality for some. However, it really doesn't matter. When covering 140.6 miles in a single day, what is most important, what really counts, is simple. Just make it to the finish line. And at the finish line of any Ironman around the world is a celebration. A celebration of life, of achieving something that you really weren't sure that you could achieve. For David Dagan, the Ford Everyday Hero, here in Coeur d'Alene, this will be his 18th Ironman finish. He does this as a way to engage teenagers, to remind them of the dangers of drug and alcohol abuse. Today, more than 400,000 teens have taken the pledge to live their lives safe and sober. And now on behalf of all of us, thank you for watching the eighth running of the Ford Ironman for the Lake.